Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming today. Way to go, Mr. Nelson! You got two more to go! Let's hear it for the GK Maintenance staff! That's a good way to start our little presentation here. Mother Nature did not want us to run on Tuesday. She obviously, once we got here, didn't want some of you to leave. Some of us do not understand the importance of today. This is not just a cross-country invitation. Ten years ago, I was still the boys, track, and girls and boys cross country coach. On August 27, 2001, Matt Walter, who was a junior at the North Kingston High School, ran his year fall camp and was on his way home on Route 72 and was killed in a head on collision. The following year, we started this invitational in his honor. Intention was to be kind of a memorial so we could remember the type of person that he was. But it's become much more than that. I think nowadays, as I look back on every year that we've had this event, I'm amazed that this is the 10th year. I can't believe how fast time has gone by. And This has become more of a celebration of life than a memorial. I thought I knew how precious life was. You always hear that saying, life is precious, hold on. I always thought I knew what that was when I was your guy's age. Then I had my two daughters, watched them be born. Then I really said, now I know how precious life is. As a teacher and coach for the last 19 years, I've lost seven students or athletes. Way too many. But seven too many. And although today is called the Matt Walter Invitational, I know several of you have lost people in your life as well. We run in Matt's honor, but you should run in the honor of anyone else that has, their, has had their life cut short. Again, I thought life was precious. I thought I finally understood the meaning of that. And then this spring, on May 3rd, I coached my last track meet ever. I didn't know it at the time, but we were at Marengo, and I suffered a heart attack at age 39. When I was in surgery, laying on the table, that I actually understood how precious life was. I'm very close to the Walter, and I was very close to Matt, and I was devastated every time I lost an athlete or a student. However, it puts things in perspective when it's your own life. I'm so glad that many of you have not had to experience that. This morning I got a phone call at school. My mother and father were at Midway Airport. They're taking off to Florida to see my brother who's in the Navy. My mother called and said my father went down of a heart attack. His third one in six months. On his way to the hospital, he said to tell me, don't go to the hospital. Run the meet tonight. That invitational means too much. You need to be there so that the athletes that are there today understand the importance of the precious portion of your life. Matt had his life cut short right about the time you're at right now, right at this age. You never know when it's going to happen. My dad told my mother to tell me to make sure that I remind each and every one of you here today 
that you should have the race of your life. And that you never know when that last race is going to be. And the last thing he said was, before they start the race, have them look down at their shirt. So please do so. It does not say your name. It has a school logo or a mascot or the community that you're from. Be proud of that because a lot of people see this as a right and it's not a right. It's a privilege to represent yourself, your team, your school, and your community. And you should take every advantage of that every day of your life because it could be over like that. If you take anything out of today, remember this. What my father told my mother to say to me today means a lot about a man. We need a lot more Dan Jerbys in the world, but we really need a lot more Matt Walters and what he stood for and the way that he lived his life. Even though it was cut short, he was one of the best young men I had ever met. And we miss him every day. So today, my challenge to you is to run today's race like it's your last because it could be. And I want you to continue that for the remainder of your high school career because it goes by fast. And pretty soon, you're not gonna be representing your communities. Instead, you're gonna be going off to college or the military or entering the workforce. And these are the days that are special and precious. I told you life is precious. You thought you knew the definition of that. You don't. But I'm hoping that today's speech begin this race, I'd like to ask Matt's parents to come out. Nate and Wayne and Nancy, will you please come out here? Thank you so much for allowing us the opportunity to keep doing this every year. I know I'm supposed to be retired and I know you told me to slow down. But if there's ever, if I ever get to the point where I'm completely done and not doing anything for this school district anymore, I will tell you that there is one thing I will always do and it's host this meet. It means that much. And it means that much to a lot of other people. And none of these young men and women ever met Matt, but hopefully they can feel their, his spirit today and they'll be better just by knowing what type of person he was. I thank you for being here today. time, GK athletes, past and present, would like to present the Walters with a bouquet in Matt's honor. Dogs, please do so.
Thank you everyone for coming today.